are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Thanks for tuning in to Weeha Mag Springtime. We've been waiting to say that for a while. Actually, last episode, uh, you would have thought that it was springtime because everyone that I was surrounded by had white shirts or white blouses <laughs> on and tans uh, because they had just come back from somewhere uh, where it was nice and spring-like or summer-like. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. As usual, um, uh, I act as the host uh, along with Barbara uh, Lerner and Ronnie Newton, and I'll let them introduce themselves in a minute. My name is Tom Hickey. Uh, I'm from Weha.com and West Hartford Magazine, and we love to bring together on a monthly basis the business associations and the neighborhood associations throughout town uh, to uh, talk about what's happening and what's going on in their area. For those of you tuning in for the first time and you did not know that there were business associations uh, throughout the town, uh, look over to my, my left, I guess you're right. Uh, the map uh, on the screen shows all of the business associations in West Hartford. So our goal is to, in 30 minutes um, time, uh, to fill you in on what you need to know in the next uh, month of uh, what's happening in each area of town. Anyone who couldn't be with us today will try to report on their behalf as well. Uh, so if we can start to my right, your left, uh, with uh, Charlie Hilborn, just a brief introduction first, then we'll come back uh, and talk about uh, who you're representing today. Well, Charlie Hilborn, and uh, I'm part of the Elmwood Business Association, and proud of that. It's been a great group for me to be part of, uh, professionally and as a friend. And I've come up with a project, uh, a dream come true uh, last year. I'd been dreaming for a couple years of trying to make <laughs> Elmwood is blooming. And uh, just try to perk it up a little bit down, beautiful downtown Elmwood. And so we got out last year, went door to door, tried all of the different businesses, met a lot of the people right up face to face. Yeah. And uh, we celebrated the year uh, by putting out 36 inch planters, which have been put together by the Knox Park Foundation. And they've been an awesome group to work with. I could not say enough good about it. They're so okay. great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off so you don't give away too much information because we have to come back to the whole story. Yeah. But before we oh. jump off of you, what's your full-time job? So people know. I am the owner. <laughs> Probably of the Sheehan Hillborn Green Funeral right. Home, where I've been over 58 years associated there. 58 years yourself. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Great. Ronnie, we'll so, come back. Sure. Hi, I'm Ronnie Newton, and I'm the managing editor of Weha.com, and one of those people still trying to hold on to that tan I had in, uh, on the last <laughs> show, but <laughs> fully embracing springtime. I even have um, kind of Easter egg colored uh, blue nail polish. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Karen Fillion and I'm here representing uh, the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association and uh, I'm employed by Edens and we own and manage uh, two corners of Bishop's Corner uh, Shopping Center, Marshalls and Big Y. And I'm Barbara Lerner, I'm the Executive Director of the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Renee McHugh, I'm the Public Relations Specialist for the Town of West Hartford and I'm here on behalf of the Park Road Association today. So I thought a great place to start, and I didn't mean to cut you off That's before, fine. but I thought a great Sorry. place to start, and Barbara, you'll probably agree you know, with this, is to have you speak um, specifically about how you wanted Elmwood to bloom last year, and, and then we can talk about how that has sort of taken on a life of its own. It's really spread throughout all of West Hartford, which is a great example of sort of 
why we meet and what we talk about. Well, right, and everybody's so jealous now of what Charlie has done <laughs> in Elmwood. A really a remarkable job. It's keeping up with the with the Charlies, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. In a very good way. <laughs> and, I, and I have to tell you, I was that doubting Thomas a year ago when you first talked about them, and I said, oh, you know, these are not going to look good. They're going to be filled with weeds. People are going to put garbage in them. <laughs> you know, no one's going to water them <laughs> and all that. They were magnificent. Yeah, they you just beautiful. didn't know Charlie well enough. I did it, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Don't even have green thumbs. Yeah, but, uh, that's right. I have great friends with green thumbs. Yeah. And they were, uh, again, the, the Knox Park Foundation. Uh, I searched out, and uh, they were just so comfortable to sit down and get to work, tell me what to do, how to go about it. And uh, I happened to walk in there early uh, spring into their hot houses and making a reference about wow, these plants are gorgeous already. <laughs> and I uh, was told, Charlie, this isn't such and such a grower. <laughs> this is Knox. <laughs> mm. And uh, I can't fight the other people. They're doing a great job too. But Knox did an outstanding job. And uh, so what we did, we got these 36-inch planters. I went out door to door, twisted a few arms, <laughs> uh, told them uh, what we're trying to do. They said, well, what do they look like? I have no idea. I've never <laughs> done this before. <laughs> no pictures. Don't listen to Tom, whatever. Right. Said, yeah. Stick with Trust me. Just trust me. <laughs> Stick with me. And uh, I said, they're going to be beautiful. <laughs> it turned out to be absolutely spectacular uh, through the kindness and generosity of all, many of the businesses. Uh, not knowing initially how many we were going to sell when I was asked, I said, I don't know if I sell eight, sell ten, I'll be happy. It's more than we've ever had before in Elmwood. Mm -hmm. And by the time they hit the street in the middle of June, we had 51 planters out. Wow. That's <coughs> unbelievable. And, uh, just such a great thing for Elmwood. It perked it right up. Uh, the compliments of for all the businesses, people going in and out of the stores. Uh, through and through, it was smashing success. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they maintain the, the planters too, right? And they Knox, change the flowers exactly. seasonally? Yes. Uh, well, actually, they would change them. They start off with the, the planters full of all types of flora. Some is viney, some is wispy, it's, the colors are mixed and mm -hmm. so forth. There's I probably know two the same, but they do a great job in mm -hmm. that respect. And for the purchase price, is one thing you purchase the planter. We suggest strongly to have. Knox maintain them for the season. So the fees were very reasonable. Uh, this year it's $100 for a planter and $100 for the maintenance fee. And that's from the middle of June to the middle of October. For those who wow. wish, at yeah. the middle of October, rather than have your planter picked up, they will convert it for a $40 fee to chrysanthemums and pick it up in the middle of November. So uh, they're just doing a great job, and again, they're, I was happy to see them, they were happy to see me. Uh, we've got a great marriage together, and through it all, we've been, again, blessed uh, to take on, the, uh, actually, Knox is blessed, to take on the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood yeah. Association, yeah. as well as the Park Road Association, and the New Park Avenue Design District. Yeah, I don't think yeah. everybody is aware of the Elmwood district because these planters were primarily on New Burton Avenue, am I right? On the avenue, gracing the sidewalks, most of them, many of them were at the front doors of the businesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the wonderful people uh, bought one for the front door and one for the curb. Mm -hmm. So uh, it just, just was a really great program that way. And, and not only it's for beautification, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, Health-wise, it's so great to have these plants. Mm. I mean, they are filtering the air. You have buses going up and down mm. the street. Yeah, There's line. a lot of hardscape. Yeah. This softens all the hardscape. So on so many levels, this was such a great yeah. idea. Mm. Worked at it. And this year, with any luck, if I can get the finalization on it, we'd love to try and get the raised islands in the middle of New Britain Avenue uh, planted. Mm. and put a little extra color down the center strip rather than what's there at the present oh, time. Wow. Yeah. But uh, it's, that's a major project to, to bring it forward. I've gotten permission 
but there's certain things that we haven't been able to cross over yet. Probably so maintenance or something, right? Because yeah. well, it's difficult to get. It's difficult to get to safety. So yeah. If safety. we don't do it this yeah. year, we'll get to it next year. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, the town is really big on safety, so yeah, that's yeah, great. Bit. So yeah. New Britain Avenue from from point A to point B, where like from West Farms to no, we don't go no, out that not far. that far. No, okay. uh, we're going maybe? from Mayflower okay. to New Park. Mayflower, okay, great. Yeah. So anyone who hasn't heard about it can just reach out to you just and for two hundred dollars they can Charlie's sponsor. knocked on everybody's door. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> they all sure. know. Everybody now we can knows. start knocking on Charlie's door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would right. be really nice but if people uh, came to you at this yeah. point. It's just been that a wonderful be thing and uh, as I say for the merchants and so forth, the compliments have been overwhelming. Yeah. And Do the town was wasn't there a time there was a time, wasn't there, when the town Used to do some some uh, some of the traffic islands right? here and there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, some some of them were underwritten by the garden associate garden uh, clubs. Okay. They took on a lot of the traffic islands, okay. and in cooperation with Public Works, they would help you know plant them and okay. pick the flowers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, this is much easier for everyone. But, uh, okay. Charlie, if you want people to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> Just pick up your phone and dial eight six zero. Five five nine eight seven two two. One more time. Eight six zero five five nine eight seven two two. Beautiful. That's and an easy one. Uh, well, and it's been so successful in Elmwood that now see, yeah. Bishop's Corner is doing it, and um, New Park Avenue, the Home Design District, would like to do it, and Park Road. Right. So initially, Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association had. Uh, decided that they were just going to do eight planters, four and four on either side of North Main Street um, at the Whole Foods uh, side and the Marshall side. And all r within days, we sold nine planters. Mm -hmm. So now we've upped the ante, mm -hmm. and um, I, I'm pretty sure that our goal is 16 for the first year, eight and eight. Wow. So it's just job. awesome. Yeah, it's great. awesome. And Ronnie, you had pictures on WeHa, right? If people wanted to see what they looked I like. I did. Yeah. Um, it, they were in Business Buzz um, the past two weeks, actually. So okay. there was one okay. when I wrote about the Bishop's Corner um, launching their, their blooming project, and then um, another, another Business Buzz post about um, Charlie's efforts to make Elmwood even more bloomingly beautiful. <laughs> and, yeah. and, the, um, and we were talking about this before the show started. The, the, the blooms spreading like dandelions, not poison yeah. ivy, but yeah. dandelions, or something else that, that spreads quickly um, to, to the other districts around town. So you, you can uh, just, I guess, Google blooms right. or Perfect. knocks, and, and you'll come up with the uh, picture of what the what the flowers looked like last year. And, and they Charlie, were really beautiful. I know you won't say this, so everyone in town can hear it, but I'm going to say it for you. Just prior to the taping, um, he was sharing a story with us about a new tenant who opened up uh, right at the end of New Park Avenue on New Britain mm -hmm. Avenue. Um, and uh, we'll put her on the spot to make sure she does it, but it's <laughs> Kelly Burke who opened up there. And she loved the idea so much that she wanted to have them in front of her business. Um, and the gentleman that Charlie is, he said, oh, that really is the home design district. So if you would contact Kathy. So Kathy, he yeah. just sold four for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, so at least that, that will carry all the way down, uh, you know, right up to the bridge. So yeah, she was very excited about that at that last meeting. Yeah. She said, I want those planters in front of my new place. Yeah, so. that's amazing. Yeah, I had the opportunity great. to chat with her the following day. Oh, good. And she is just a bubble, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Beautiful. Well, uh, anything else about Elmwood that we that we should know about or anyone has heard about? I know that Asia Restaurant finally moved, right? They moved right? across the street, moved across right? The street. And yes. Golf Tech is open. Golf Tech. And incredibly right. busy. Is, um, yeah. We actually went in there to make an appointment for an evaluation, and they're like running three months. Um, <gasps> wow. Yeah, it's great. Wow. But if you can go at odd times, they can fit you in. Mm -hmm. My husband went at, in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. And Can you uh, give a two-second commercial for uh, the Sousa family for Golf Tech? Oh, yeah. it's such so, a new so, concept? So the Sousa family um, are West Hufford residents, and both their boys went to Hall High School. And their son David wound up in Boston working for Golf Tech. And after a few years there, they decided they would buy a franchise mm -hmm. and open in West Hartford. So they are next door to Pepe's Pizza. So it must smell good in there all day long. Yeah, um, right. The place is beautiful. It is a great franchise. They're very supportive. Their grand opening was about a month ago. And their company said to them, this was the best grand opening week that mm -hmm. any of their other franchisees yeah. has had. Wow. Besi Imagine. Besides 
Japan, which is not a surprise. Yeah, right. They are uh -huh. golf crazy in Japan. Um, and it's the only franchise in Connecticut, It's the only right? franchise in Connecticut, that's, yeah, and they have amazing. three, four rooms where they do evaluations. And uh, they're going to be selling golf clubs, too. They will mm -hmm. custom fit golf clubs for you. The clubs are... Have they they told me they would that's actually awesome. teach me how to play golf, which yes. I, that's, that's kind of a dare because <laughs> <laughs> I, I am so uncoordinated mm -hmm. with any sports involving <laughs> hands and balls. So <laughs> they can do I, it. If they can, can then, then they can I will definitely it. report on it. It will be so. news to share. <laughs> so, so, so it's a great addition to Elmwood, and they mm -hmm. have been actively involved in the Elmwood mm -hmm. Business Association, too. So it's nice to see. Michelle and Bill and their son David, they, all that. Fantastic. Immediately purchased the planner also. Right. Did they? Fantastic. Of course they would. For a new great. business, I thought Excellent. that was very yeah, nice. That's great. Do. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie, there was a, a special anniversary for Fast Track, right? Um, well? Fast Track had its um, two year anniversary. Oh, and two. does that count? I guess it's it, wow. it's called the Elmwood Fast Track Station. So it was okay. held at the Elmwood Fast Track Station and the, it was held in conjunction with the groundbreaking for 616 New Park which is, I guess, technically more in the home design district, but it's part oh, yeah. of the transit-oriented development going on in the um, New Park Avenue corridor. And um, mm -hmm. that project um, is, is underway now, and it's going to be a mixed-use, um, uh, mostly residential, but with some commercial on the ground floor um, development. And it will include market rate, as well as workforce and veterans housing, um, a mix, you know, mix of of housing to bring more people to the neighborhood and uh, there will be all sorts of more things for people to do in that neighborhood. There's some exciting news coming down um, the pike about hopefully a um, food truck park in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in Elmwood, I mean I'm sorry, in the New Park Avenue area as well and um, New Park Brewing just opened. The restaurant, um, will, uh, V Market will be open right, by then? Right, the V Mark, um, V Mart I think it's called. V Mart. And right. KT Bakery is a um, Vietnamese bakery that's opening at the end of where um, Talcott Road. Uh, Talcott Road. Talcott I should okay. remember. That's where our office is. Talcott <laughs> Road. It's, uh, it's New Park Avenue, and and they're um, probably by the time people see this, they they will be open. Um, so there's a lot really going on in in kind of urban renewal, really, or suburban renewal, maybe you should call it, in the um, New Park area, and that's that's part of a plan that the town has to really regenerate that that area. And there've been a lot of meetings held to get. Um, input from the community about how to make the area also more pedestrian and bicycle friendly just to to really bring it from an industrial area to a place that that can be enjoyed by people um, and businesses um, and a recent ordinance also was passed allowing food trucks to park in the industrial area because that is an industrial zone so we anticipate seeing some of our favorite food trucks uh, parked um, not on New Park, but on some of the side streets off New Park, um, maybe even by the time you guys uh, are watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be great. Excellent. Other Wonderful. things in Elmwood, uh, thanks to the uh, West Harbor Housing Authority, as well as New Park Avenue, they're rehabbing the Elm Grove units mm -hmm. on Grove Street, New Britain Avenue, and they're doing a heck of a job. I just was by there a little earlier today. Mm. And uh, they've also purchased up 1078 New Britain Avenue, which is a large brick complex uh, right across from St. Bridget Church, next to my business. And uh, oh, I didn't know that. And so they're going to be rehabbing that whole property. Mm. And again, there'll be more market uh, price oh, wow. units going in there, but some low income. And how, that's an apartment complex now, right? It is. Yeah, yeah so it'll stay a, an apartment complex. Uh, okay. And, I didn't realize that. Needs See what you hear on Weha yeah. Mag? It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> it's good. That's <laughs> good. Uh, let's move to, uh, to Bishop's Corner because I know you, you have a big announcement to make. Well, yes, the uh, Taste of Bishop's Corner <laughs> has been rescheduled due to uh, inclement weather. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the 17th of May from 530 to 730. We are so excited and it's going to be held out on the patio between Maximum Beverage and uh, Blue Plate Kitchen. There we go. So, so this will be the second attempt for a taste <laughs> of to be outdoors. Yes. Last year's was blue back, and for those of you who remember, it was about 110 <laughs> degrees. Yes. So we'll, we'll see what kind of weather we get on, yes. on, uh, on May 17th. But it's rain or shine. Rain or shine, um, and uh, so you'll be well protected. Yep. And uh, we're also going to have uh, some services there as well as food and drink. 
Um, the drink is provided by Maximum Beverage, and uh, we have some um, all different kinds of restaurants that are going to be giving uh, a taste. And, and hopefully the two new ones. Yes, the right. two new ones, yeah. which is Moe's. Hey, and that, was, that was such a great news to share. <laughs> yeah. and, People uh, in town were so excited. Up, and uh, yeah. we're just, we're so very excited. Mm. Uh, that two was Mexican. A, two Mexican. <laughs> and, yes, and, and then yeah. uh, Ocha yeah. um, opening up uh, at the... Um, the former Bertucci's. Yes, yeah. the former yeah. Bertucci's. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so we're just so excited. I mean, there's also going to be some services. I know Ma um, Massage Envy is uh, interested in giving some chair massages, and there's going to be some other surprises. Mm -hmm. And also there's going to be some raffles. Sure. So local businesses are interested in doing that. So we really hope that it may involve to more of like a fair type uh, yeah. atmosphere, okay. you know, Real but festival. we'll see. Yeah. Right, yeah. so we'll see what happens, yeah. but nice. we're just we're just so very excited. That's great. So, and I'd also like to just uh, let everyone know, that I'm sure you all do know, that um, Marshall's rebranded and is now the Marshall's Home Goods um, at 333 I bet everyone North did Main Street. Yeah. I'm sure everyone knows, yeah. but um, by now they do. By now they do. Um, <laughs> it is. Uh, the business there is just is so exciting. Uh, the parking lot is always full, and it's just bringing more business to the whole Bishop's Corner, you know, um, as a group. So um, can you can you say something to people listening to about um, uh, how the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association is encouraging residents, or not only from the neighborhood but anyone in town, to bring ideas of how to beautify or. You know, oh yes, Bishop's I corner. mean, you know, I mean, if you you don't even have to be an artist, you know, it can be on the back of a cocktail napkin, <laughs> what, how, whatever whatever you can do to bring uh, to us to help us, um, you know, make that the four corners look better, Great. you know. Excellent. So um, yeah, so lot lots is going on, Excellent. and you're more than welcome to attend any of our meetings, and you can just go on uh, Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Yeah. Um, on, and look at our website and check out our um, our schedule. Great. And for tickets for Taste of Bishop's Corner, uh, were you just going to say that, mm -hmm. Renee? <laughs> uh, for tickets, go to weha.com okay. uh, and you'll be able to order them online. And we do, uh, it will be li a limited number, so, right. um, so we do anticipate it to be a sellout because we had already sold tickets, you know, for the first right. date that we had, so those people carry over. Uh, sure. You know, to the next event. So, uh, so don't wait. <laughs> and there'll be plenty of free parking in the rear. Well, oh, thank you very oh, much. Yeah. That's right in the back, where, so, where Walmart used to be. Right. And they can go right up the elevator. They can or get the, the elevator stairs. or the stairs. Yeah, either way. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Renee, you want yes. to talk about the Park Road Parade? Yes. Right? Yes. So, yes. So I'm here to talk about the Park Road Parade in its 19th year. Can you believe it? Nineteen, 19 years. Wow. Yeah. And I've been to all of them. <laughs> 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 So and you were 19 when you went to the first parade. Right, there you go. Right. Yeah. Right. Nine. 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 Sorry. Nine. 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 So this past fall, we took a, a pause and we, you know, we asked the community, you know, we've been doing it for 18 years. Should we keep doing this? You know, is, is it valued in the community? And overwhelmingly, yes. Yes, indeed it was. Um, the responses came back. But we're definitely looking to reinvigorate it. You know, have new volunteers bring new ideas have um, some new parade contingents and we're really looking for neighborhood groups maybe it's the neighborhood group that has an annual block party think about getting together over the summer and creating a parade contingent maybe building a float you know doing something fun um, I like the lawnmower brigade I was just gonna say yeah. when, we, when we started the parade years and years 19 years ago mm -hmm there from Patrice Nursery. There was eight guys with the old-fashioned lawnmowers, <laughs> and they did crazy eight formations <laughs> all the way down. That's funny. It's hysterical. It's yeah. something just like that, mm -hmm. something so easy like that. Mm -hmm. Wearing the same t-shirts, you know, and funny hats, or yeah. having some music. So, mm -hmm. so with that, um, our website, parade website, is Park Road, uh, Park Road with Road Spelt Out, ct.com slash parade. We'll get you to the Park Road Parade website. So, so we're doing that. Um, planning is already underway. As you can imagine, par parades cost money. And this parade cost about $7,000 mm -hmm. as we hire different bands to participate in the parade. And one of the key fundraisers is the Celebrity Breakfast. And that's held on the first Tuesday in June, which is June 8th this year, from 7.30 to 10 at Effie's Restaurant. 
Um, and Ronnie and I serving it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and our, well, not just us. Not just us. Our <laughs> local <laughs> celebrities <laughs> serve you. I've Service is it. very poor, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's slow but fun. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Because uh, the really servers is. sit and they chat with you instead of serving your food. <laughs> but the food is fantastic because Effie's donates all the food for that. It's so oh, wow. such a generous, generous thing oh, that so they nice. do the for the parade. The fire department comes in, the police department yes. comes in. Yeah, you know, fire the, chiefs, the, the managers, the school, and people from the schools. And it's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun. And when is the parade this year? It's always on the first Saturday in October, okay. and it's October 7th okay. at 10.30. And we're looking to have a couple other little fundraisers, maybe over the summer, um, a, a comedy club type thing. We might have a, um, a wine tasting or a stroll down Park Row. We're thinking of those kinds of things too to generate some more There's interest. There's even rumor they may, there may be a taste of Park Row to help. Yes. <laughs> so yes. we'll see what happens. Yeah, and we're hoping yeah. to kind of build yeah. enthusiasm leading up to the parade, mm -hmm. not just the one day, but kind of building up to it and keep talking about yeah. it and, yeah. and yeah. get people thinking about different things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not just Park Road is involved, invited, but the Bishop's Corner Association yeah. could have a, a group in the Elmwood Community Center. Oh, that's a great and idea. there's that's lo a lots idea. of people. Yeah, Maybe idea. we'll get a float. That's right. Well, yeah. It would be awesome. The chamber yeah. actually has had a float in the yes. past. It's yes. been a lot of fun yeah. to put mm. that together. Yeah. And you really have to continue to reinvent yourself. You do. You the, do. the chamber is in the process yeah. of changing around their whole golf tournament, which is okay. September 25th this year. And we've changed the location from the Hoffa Golf Club to Tumblebrook Country Club. We're going to change it from a sit-down luncheon to eating out on the course. We're going nice. to have games and oh, tastings and all sorts of things. Mm. And you need to ke always keep things yeah. fresh to keep yeah. people interested and yeah, enthused sure. about it. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention that we just had our economic development luncheon. Mark McGovern gave his uh, presentation on all things new happening in town which Ronnie reports on. I know he always holds a couple of things back from you before uh, this just, luncheon. Just a few. Sometimes I can, you know, find out <laughs> in advance. So he has something to speak about. Um, he always does a wonderful job, and Kristen Gorski um, is helping him. Um, this year she's really a wonderful new addition at the town's economic development Lovely specialist. Lady. So. Speaking of mixing things up and yep. things that are new and different, uh, the West Hartford Wine and Food Festival uh, will be June 17th, Saturday, uh, this year. Uh, first time ever uh, in West Hartford. For those of you who are familiar with uh, the Greenwich Wine and Food Festival or the Newport Wine, Wine and Food Festival, um, it will be very similar in nature to that. Um, very high-end, uh, 30 uh, you know, different wines being poured, paired with 30 different restaurants. Um, no, you know, I, throughout the I area. Think it's 200 wines. Oh, I'm sorry, 200, 200, 200? wines. Yeah, sorry, in 30 you. restaurants. No. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very much wine, is it? No, no. So, so, um, 30 bottles yeah. for, every, for 1,500 people to share. <laughs> Ronnie works part time for Maximum Beverage. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian went, they all thank you. That's good. I, I goofed it up. But, um, but it should be a really fun uh, different event. It's from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock uh, on mm -hmm. a Saturday by design. So you have to pace yourself? So, yeah, so <laughs> pace yourself, A, and B, so that people can shop, dine, and stroll oh, in Blue okay. Back and in West Hartford oh, nice. Center when okay. they're done, instead of just having it be in the evening and the restaurants feeling as though they were impacted by that. Right, so you hopefully, can walk right over you right can, afterwards, absolutely. right? absolutely. So we'll be all set. So typically, join us for you that. don't eat a lot at these things. Yes, so it tastes like little tastes. Yeah. Then, yeah. then you go to a restaurant to and have really a full meal and relax and savor what you experience. So Absolutely. your one price admission gets you to one all night. of that? It certainly does. And, and it's going to be held Saturday? on the grounds at Kingswood Oxford, so you'll be able to see mm -hmm. it uh, from Chopbrook or from uh, or from Blueback. Okay. Um, so join us. All details, of course, will be on weha.com. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and we look forward to, by the time we uh, are joined uh, together again, uh, we'll be talking about summer uh, and everything that we have going on. So we look forward to that. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. On behalf of Charlie and Ronnie and Renee and Barbara and Karen, uh, we thank you very much, and we'll see you in the summer. <laughs>